as a theist, um, I believe that the soul is the spiritual reflection of our individuality as individual human beings, as individual agents. And I would say that even if you don't accept spirituality at all, the concept of the soul basically deals with our individuality, with our autonomy, with our own worth as individual human beings. Um, there is a saying from the Bible, but it's been used over and over again in plays and other dramas and in literature, and that is, it profits a man nothing to gain the whole world but to lose his soul. Whether you're religious or not, I think you can relate to what that means about losing your soul, about selling your soul for a particular, for a particular gain, for money or for prestige or for power. So I would argue that the concept of the soul is something that we all understand, even if we understand it in an entirely non-religious sense. If someone is an atheist, I think it's very easy to say that, 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 that my soul tells me to do this. And by that I mean my inner essence, my inner self, the values that I hold, um, the things I cherish, the things that I think are important. Those are all part of my soul. And that's how I would explain it to a person who is not a person of faith. Okay. But I, sorry, I thought you said that the soul was inextricably bound up with the um, existence of God, that it, it's not a theologically neutral, the, the idea, neutral term. Yes, I did indeed. And what I meant was that the spiritual concept of the soul is inextricably bound up with the, the, with, with the hypothesis of God. But again, the question was if I was to explain the value of the concept of the soul for someone who is an atheist, for someone who is a non-believer, I would say that spiritual reflection in which I believe can be understood in an entirely non-spiritual way in terms, again, of our inner selves, of our own set of values, moral principles, and the things that we hold most dear.